Uh, welcome back to the Trading Post. Good morning. It is Tuesday morning, but these sales are going to be for Monday. See, I got it right that time. Yay. Us not listing is pretty par for course for what we sold. So it's a little bit slow for not oh, listing yeah. in a week. I'm still going to take it, though. Yeah, we were out of town. So We got six sales for $187.28. And some of them were items that were longer inventory. Yeah, whatever. that we've had for a while. Yeah. Okay, let's go ahead and get right into it. Dun, dun, dun. Hey, there's a good sound. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Wake up. Today's going to be a good day. Okay, we're ready to get into this. Isn't he cute? <laughs> we picked up him and another one of his buddies. It's a Disney special agent. Also. 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 I don't know. I don't know. <laughs> but we got him at a yard sale him and his buddy was a yellow one i don't know <laughs> they were cute he sold for thirty dollars he's a wolf great condition he didn't even really need any uh cleanup all right next is a sun kiss i don't know if you can see it or not sun kiss right here it's a juicer had that for a while. It's got a little chip on it, do you not? Yeah, okay. it's got chips there and here. I put that in the description. We, we've had this one for a while. I think that's why we've had it for a while. I think we got this in a state sale. I don't remember where we got that. Don't remember. I got it in Florida, so it's, oh, been, it's been a while. it's been a long while. Don't really remember how much we paid for it. Not a whole lot if we got it in Florida, because we didn't pay for nothing down in Florida, really. I don't pay for nothing, really. Yeah. I mean, two or three bucks is my usually highest. Ended up selling for $28.50. Yeah, no hugging the teddy bears. Animals. This is another Boy Scout mug on the last video of the last what, what sold video. I think you saw that we sold one. This is Shift Scout Reservation. We got these in a bundle of a bunch of them for about 30 cents a piece. The second one in two days. Two days, yeah. I'm glad you had to dig that one out. Well, it was on top. Oh, figures. But it sold for six dollars. This is kind of weird. Not the fact that it's a comic book or anything. While we were gone, we sold two of the exact same ones to the same person i had three this is blood strike number one it is april this is the last one i had of this one so someone bought, came in and bought two of them and then a different person bought the last one it's kind of weird but i think it's probably because it shows last one i don't know but anyway this is the third one that sold in a couple of days I'm not gonna complain not a whole lot of money but it did sell for 225 And we're roughly into these comics for 11 cents. One more comic gone. Only 4,250 <laughs> something left. Uh, oh, yeah. I just thought this duck was neat. I don't remember where we got him either, but he was in Florida. He was in that uh, warehouse or the storage unit by, uh, with me and KJ. It's got a secret compartment. Look at that. I think it's supposed to be like a... Tobacco. Oh, sure. That works. Or weed. I don't know. I just put unique duck in the listing could be a kid's toy too i have no anyways so yeah he he was cool and he sold for 34 dollars i'm gonna hit him with it opens on wheels hand, no i meant on the bottom uh, handcrafted in india this. folk art decor it says m around the m i don't know i don't have my glasses on oh. <laughs> harvest yellow club aluminum i would say it's one quart or one and a half. That's what it is. Point you're listening, it's one quart. Oh, okay. <laughs> yeah, it's kind of got a lot of wear. We sold it for $16.99. And he's grabbing another one that just came in, so we're just going to add it to today's. This is a Callaway Golf FTI Fusion Fairway. It's for the three, four, or five wood. It's a square, square way golf head cover, but it ended up selling for $23.95. Okay, so when we was in Kansas City, actually when we was in Cincinnati, we met we met Richard. It's four Pinto yes. flips, but he spells a four flint Ford Pinto backwards. Otnif Drop. I'll try to zoom in on it, but it's O T N I P D R O F space flips. But check him out. He's super nice. We met him in Cincinnati and found out that he lives pretty close to my daughter. Out here in Kansas City, so we went to Kansas City. We gave him a call. We hung out with him for a little bit. Man, Super cool dude. So nice, so nice. Full of energy. Man, he he welcomed us with open arms, and 
yeah. we talked for a little bit and we had to cut it short because we had dinner plans with with my daughter so but, there will be uh, other times that we'll visit yeah. we're looking forward to the next time couldn't ask for a better host yep super nice got to see his uh, ebay shop you know where he lists stores death pile and all that stuff very neat very interesting very much so yeah Got to see some similar merchandise. If you guys will, go out and like and subscribe to his channel. Um, he looks like he has about 1,360 subscribers now. Still go on out and like and subscribe to him. Let him know that uh, Scott and Christina sent you guys from the training post. Yeah. And we will be right back in just a second with Tuesday Sales. It is Wednesday. Yeah. <laughs> this is going to be Tuesday Sales. We did good. He I did good. This is a win for him day. Yeah. Ooh, the one time a year. <laughs> This day on the calendar. Yeah, we thought we was going to fall off quite a bit because we didn't list that week we was in Kansas City. But for some reason, it just slowed down just a little bit, not a whole lot. But for yesterday, we ended up selling 11 items for $522.95. I love that ASP. That's about $40, $45, somewhere in there. I was thinking ASP, policeman's ASP. I'm glad you said ASP. <laughs> yeah. All right, we're going to go ahead and get right into it. Uh, this is good. Uh, about $45 on the ASP, so no complaints at all. No. All right. We don't know for sure who had this one, but we're both kind of 90% sure that it's hers. Yeah. We think so, so she's going to talk about it. Pair of Vans. Gray. I think they're called Ferguson. Oh, yay. They're canvas and suede mix. Men's size nine, I think they were. Anyways. Six and a half. Oh, wow. I'm really off on that one. It's upside down dyslexic whatever uh anyways great shape don't know what i picked them up for because you know me i don't remember anything but they sold for 23 dollars. three to five dollars probably what we picked up for probably closer to three all right these next two we got from goodwill he got i was out of town i go out of town a lot yes she does i'm going out of town again in a couple weeks for thanksgiving <laughs> but we paid five dollars a piece they they do come in the Dollar General box that says $10. I did not list the picture of the boxes with each item. If they saw the picture, I didn't want them to low balls on the price, mainly. So these are going to be shipped without the box. I did take the picture of the two of them because two of them sold to the same person outside the box. Are you going to put the pictures up on the screen? Yeah. So we have a boy scarecrow. These are fiber optic, 12 inch. The him and the her. And the her. She's I, cute. Yeah, they, they, they're going to look good together. We have another one. He's got to work on it. He's right here. He's a little bit bigger. Um, the bulb burned down on it. So we should have a bulb delivered today. Pretty cheap on the bulb. It was like uh, $6 for two. But anyway, we got eat these for $5 each. And combined total, they end up selling for $75.90. Yeah, I don't know. These are uh, the customer ended up paying close to another thirty dollars in shipping, so they're going to get a refund because uh, I think with the ground advantage, it jacked it up a little bit more because of size. I think we can get the price down and get it probably in a smaller box to save them some money. So we'll send them a refund on that. In the potato head lot, we have hair. <laughs> uh, we got two of these. Uh, it didn't match with anything else. I had the hats together, the hands together, the eyes together, the mouths together. But I didn't have anything for hair, so this one listed by itself. Uh, that potato head lot was ten dollars we've made plenty more than that by now but the blonde hair who would have thought yeah no me i guess <laughs> the blonde hair alone sold for three dollars and 75 cents we might make two and a quarter to 250 on this one yeah this one's cool this one is really cool i wish you could show them um and i don't want to take it back out of the box oh this is called ghoul tv the picture pop up but there is an image behind this cloth. When you plug it in, he comes out. It's a face she that comes out. Cloth. And I don't know if you can see it or not, but the face comes out. And then show the back, because that's where it kind of gives the Yeah, it kind of gives the 3D there. But the box is beat up. Um, it still works. I made sure I tested it. I think my mom was really wanting to buy it until she saw the price of it. <laughs> Even though she does get the discount. She gets the family discount. But we picked this up at a yard sale for $5. Not knowing if it works. Because the box is beat up. I was hoping it works, but I figured even for parts and just the TV screen itself, you probably get more than $5. But it does work. We had it listed for $90, and someone came through last night and offered us $85. So this is this is a great flip here. This, this is a great flip. So I didn't even, didn't, 
Never even knew that this was out there like this. I almost wanted to keep it. And what year is it from? Did you say the year? 2017. Really? Yeah, I thought I it was thought older. Be, yeah. But it's actually not, it's called Totally Ghoul Gargoyle TV. I thought it was Ghoul TV, but it's Gargoyle TV. This should be pretty easy to box this, wrap it once or twice in bubble wrap and rebox it. I would even make, put a cardboard yeah. piece in front. You dingling. The bell. I don't know where my glasses went. I know it's USS North Carolina something bell. It's a Cooper Bell, USS North Carolina Battleship Memorial Souvenir Bell, four inch. I think I was supposed to put copper. Oh. Uh. <laughs> <laughs> okay, maybe I need my glasses on because it does say Copper Bell. It doesn't say Cooper Bell. <laughs> no, from here it does look like Cooper. <laughs> yeah. We really Copper need our... Bell. <laughs> we really need our glasses. It's a Copper Bell. USS North Carolina. It says rare, so I probably couldn't find any more of them. And it sold for $12.98. And I picked it up in a lot of uh, other Copper Bells. Cooper Bells sell really well. And the back is pretty cool. It's just kind of circle-y. Love my terminology. Okay, Bloodstrike must be a hot comic here recently because we sold the three of the Third same Third video ones. in a row with Bloodstrike. Yeah, three th third day in a row. Oh, okay, that's but, too. Uh, the other two was two of the same one, and then the third one that I had of the same copy sold. But I grouped these three together. This is Blood Strike number. It's called the Extreme Prejudice Division or Extreme Prejudice Comics. It's like the different episode of Blood Strike, I guess. But this is number nine, ten, and eleven. This one's part three, part seven. Maybe they're all different. They're not Extreme Prejudice, but I put nine, ten, and eleven together, even though they are a little different. This came out of the comic book haul from the 127 sale. All these comics are, I, I'm not a grader, so I'm not going to say it's a 10 or anything. But I would say they're a strong 8. They're in great condition. Yeah. But three comics that were into it for 33 cents total end up selling for six ninety five. More comics gone. Mickey ears. But they light up on off. Yep, they do. Hey, there we go. So, yep, they light up. We got this one with the Haunted Mansion ears and one other one down in Florida. I think we paid $5 a piece. The Haunted Mansion one actually sold pretty well for us. They real, were cool real fast. looking. This one right here, I ran into it for $5. The money wasn't in this one. It was in the Haunted Mansion. But we took an offer on this one for $13.50. So, we know these aren't selling very well anymore. So I've had them for a little while. Pyrex bowls, the primary colors, the green and the yellow. Still so pretty good. Yeah, they're not like pristine shape. They do have some scratches and stuff. Sold them as a pair because they're not doing very well anymore on their own. And these sold for $60 for the two of them. This is number 404 yellow and she has the 403 green. And, and while we so can bright. see the screen. But... If you watch... But wait, there's more. Yes, but wait, there's more. I just learned about this uh, about a, two months ago, and I could have done it, and I didn't think about it until just now. Tim from Over the Years has a video out on how to brighten up and make all these scratches uh -huh. kind of go away. So check out one of his videos on his YouTube. Over with, the Years. Over the Years with um, his mom, Mama Dukes. There you go. And I think she uses Peak to take all this stuff out. And I need to look into that myself. Another one of mine, Brooks. These are an amazing find. You always want to pick up Brooks. These are brand new. These are glycerin. Uh, what was the other one? Not the Leviton, but uh, glycerin. And there's another one out there, Ghost. Yes, Ghost. Those are the better of the two Brooks. And of course, the higher number, the better. This is the glycerin 19s. For me, is the pair. Yeah. I yeah. sold it. I've sold a pair. When I got these, we had just sold a pair for a hundred bucks. Yeah. So then I picked these up for ten. We had them yeah, listed. Ten. We, we had them listed for ninety-five, but someone came through and offered eighty. And eighty. We're so we're not gonna argue with that. No, I'm not gonna argue because they are literally brand new. Look at them. But size six, uh, glycerin nineteen. So watch out for glycerins and um, ghosts. Yep. So those are the better ones, especially in this kind of condition. They can bring in good money. They, they end up selling for eighty dollars. And while we have the screen somewhat able to view, go ahead. 
Oh, this is Britt and Grandma. Her name is Cher. She is going to be on... Well, this by the time this video comes out, it'll be this week. On Thursday night at 7 p.m. Okay. She is a longtime reseller. She has brick and mortar stores. She has eBay. I believe she has Poshmark. She's hilarious. Yes, absolutely hilarious. We may have to do some editing on there because she has no filter, so we may have to do some editing on the podcast. Oh, there will definitely be yeah. some editing, I'm sure. She is like a second mother to me. If Christina don't call her within two days, she's always calling Christina to check up on her. Yeah, we have become very close-knit friends as well as reselling buddies. So, But Thursday night at 7 p.m. on those flipping pickers, Yeah, she'll be on there, and it should be a riot. I mean, I'm sure there's going to be some... Reselling talk, but oh, there's definitely going to be reselling. But talk. she is so funny. I mean, it's it's going to be a riot. It's yeah. going to be so fun. She has five warehouses uh, full death of warehouses. stuff. Death warehouses. <laughs> She's the one we go picking up. But sometimes you'll see us do some videos in there. She's she, she, right down, sweetheart. Yes, yes, and she's got a lot to talk about with all of her uh, experience. So tune in and watch her. And yeah, and if it'll be anybody a blast. if anybody has any doubt at all about getting into reselling, share. An awesome person, 75 years old, and she yeah. still gets out there and she gets it. She and knows more about computer stuff and editing and just, I, I would never even try some of the stuff that she does. So Not only does she do eBay and all those booths, but she does YouTube as well. Yeah. So, I mean, for her to be doing this, I can't say her age because she's a young 75. Oh, but she still gets up and gets it. circles around. And her husband is a little bit younger, not a whole lot, but he does nothing but furniture. And he doesn't want any help moving furniture for the most part. Oh, so no. the two of them, I mean, they are definitely an inspiration for anybody who thinks they can't do this. Oh, yeah. Because uh, 75 years old and still getting out there and getting it, I could only yeah. wish. And that's her signature yep. uh -huh. right up here. I could only wish when I get to be 75, I can still do what she does. I hope so, because I'm not pushing you around and all that yeah. stuff. You're a little too big for that. Yes. Okay, this one I just listed yesterday. It sold pretty fast. I'm trying You're to remember. Yeah, Chewy's put his two cents in on that one. I know we got these, I think, just before we left to go to Kansas City. This is a Lexus hat. It's made by K Products. Oh, no, this one's Imperial. But it has a leather strap back on it. Again, I just listed it yesterday for $15. Somebody offered eleven eleven. I don't know how they come up with that number. They offered 11 It's 11. their favorite number, maybe? Yeah. We're into it for 50 cents. So I'm not going to turn it down for that. Less than 12 hours, it ended up selling. Finally, for Tuesday, we have another Imagine X we got last year at a um, community sale. Got tons and tons of, th of these and some larger figures. Oh, and I found another half a box for you to list. Of Imagine X? Yep. Yay. Anyway, this is the Marvin Super... Marvin. Marvel superhero squad this is the ultimate punisher we're into him for very little because that box has already paid off a lot but we're not gonna make a whole lot of money but this little guy alone in itself for 4.95 um after ebay fees and taxes we're probably gonna make again another two dollars and fifty cents but he's tiny takes up no space and he's kind of cool looking it's called the punisher. daredevil oh daredevil daredevil on netflix really good show yeah it's a series yeah okay we will be right back with Tomorrow's. What is today? Wednesday. Is we'll be right back. See you in a flash. No, <laughs> no pun intended. Ah, gotcha. Pun intended. Yeah, she actually caught that one. Usually it's like <laughs> way over her head. So. All right. Thank you, guys. This is going to be sales for Wednesday. Yeah, we're, we're kind of <laughs> miscombobulated right now because we got up early and went to an estate sale. Dropped he spent some, a lot of money. Dropped some cash there. Maybe, he did. Maybe uh, we can do a... Yeah, he's going to do some sort of short or some sort oh, of video Maybe I'll do a live as I pull it. I don't know. We'll it's figure just, it out. Anyway, this is going to be sales for Wednesday. A live Wednesday. would take about 15 minutes, so no. No, it won't. Not if I show every car. But anyway, uh, <laughs> uh, I just picked up over 100 model cars and die, die casts. So. Yeah. Anyway, this is going to be sales for Wednesday. We got six sales for $147.26. And um, a lot of it is him again, so. All but two. Yeah. Some of this is not sales. It's, it's what she just got listed. Yeah, stuff to be put away. Along uh, with a whole other tote that's on the ground over here. First up is more slot car track pieces. This is Carrera. Um, I got this out of the exclusive 4, exclusive V, whatever it is called, Evolution track. This is the... I know curve, my glasses are today if you need them. Curve pieces. This is 124, 459. I lot of them together in threes. Um, had them listed a little bit high. Uh, well, I evidently they're a little high, but I got an offer for $15 for these three, so I went ahead and took it. 
we still got two more sets of the three. These, these, are, fishies. these are little fishies that I got in a big tote that I got for like five bucks, I think. And it was a big tote full of just loose toys. And these are the replacement fish for the Go Fish game with the fishing pole. And he thought they wouldn't sell. It was, what, six or eight of them? Eight of them. Eight of them. And they sold for a whopping $5. But they sold is the point. Anything. Yes, they did. Yeah. So replacement parts can sell for any game. This one's really cool. <clears throat> this is a tribute to the Ford Motor Company 50th anniversary book. Very old. Um, I got this in a state sale for, I think, $2. I, th I think it's really cool. But I had it listed for $44.95 for a while. And then when I did it in and sell similar, I dropped it down to $41.95. And it sold within two days of me dropping that price. Not too bad on that one. Not too good. Not, not too, too good. Bad. And I sold another comic. Yay! It's not Bloodstrike this time. This is uh, Xenozoic. Xenozoic Tales, number nine. Uh, this came from the Florida tub or the Florida crates that I got, not from the big one, from the 127. So I've had these for a while. Again, that whole sale is already covered uh, with one comic, but this one ended up selling for eight dollars and twenty-five cents. Ah, and there were comics at the estate sale today, and no, I turned thank them down. You. I turned them down. Yeah, and if you didn't, I was going to turn them down and just tell you no anyways, because you had just bought over 100 freaking cars. They were, they were pretty ratty, so that's why I turned them down. Next is a tire inflator. I picked this up at uh, our local thrift store for Dala. Dala Dala. I wasn't sure exactly what it was, because I didn't actually see the inflator with it at first. Didn't know what it was. But for a dollar, it's electronic. Oh, the sweater's making me itch. If anything, I was just going to give it to Donald because he does electronics. But <laughs> I decided to keep it. It's, it's not complete. It's got the inflator tool and everything, but it doesn't have all the attachments. Okay. So I marked it down. We ended up taking the best offer on this for $15. Oh, and me. What is it? Oh, this is the last one. This is a vintage chrome cigarette holder. And it is, what did I, what did I call that? Machine turned with all the little decorative... Grooves. Yeah, it's groovy. <laughs> groovy, baby. Mm. I paid fifty cents for this, and it sold for fifteen ninety nine. When I first started, I thought it was like a a double like business card holder. Oh, you could use it for yeah, that business card and stickers. Boom. Hey, that'll work. Too late now. No, but my good friend Dwayne bought me a business card holder, so yep, I I like it. It's got a martini glass on the front, and it's jeweled. Or bedazzled. And we got one more day to go. Yep. So stick around and we'll add tomorrow on to this one. Hi guys, we are back. And Hi. this is going to finish off the week. We just got done uh, hitting an estate sale on a couple yard sales with uh, Donald Marsberg in basement and Max and Angie with Fast Talking Flipper. Yeah. And it was a great morning. It was. It really was. I got some good finds that were not in my wheelhouse. I actually bought some stuff that's nowhere near my wheelhouse. Yeah, it's nowhere near. And I also got, let me show you just a quick glimpse. I got all these. That wasn't today, though. That was yesterday, but it's the same estate sale. There's 168 models and die cast in there. So I'm, I'm excited about to getting these things listed. But this isn't a what'd you get video. No. This is a what sold video. And it was a, a little bit. what sell video. Yeah, it's a little bit slower yesterday. Yeah, and it's fine. But we had. Yeah, uh, which we say that every video, and we got to like. Yeah, that. we have six additional sales to finish off the week for $209.34. We're just going to go ahead and get right into it so we can get them all ready to go. And first one is you. This first one is a GE Super Radio. I can, I scrubbed and scrubbed. I could not get this off at all. I don't, I don't know if it's paint or what. but It's paint. It's over spray. I sold it in this condition. It does work off a of battery and off of the power cord. It does have the antenna with it. I think we paid three dollars for this Where one. Where is the power cord? It's tucked inside. Oh, okay. Paid three dollars for this one, and we took an offer of twenty-six. This one is a, I think it's Hall. Let me see if I'm right. Yes, Hall zero seven four nine six teapot periwinkle blue with gold accents. Excellent condition. I said uh way too many times in this one. He'll cut that out. Uh, you think? Yeah, uh, yeah. Uh. <laughs> Maker's mark at the bottom there. 
Now, I have seen this once before and I did not pick one up. Then I saw it again and I did pick it up because when I did research the first time, the comps were really well. And then when I picked it up the second time, comps had dropped. So it still I, did good, though. Yeah, it still did good. I paid $5 for it and I sold it for $25.44. This blood pressure cup, I paid $2 for it and it is by Rely On. It does work. This one sold for $26.95. Now, we do really well. I mean, I think we just sold one last week. And, and I don't think Rely On is one of the better ones either, but they still sell pretty good. Yeah, I'm not sure. But, I mean, so if you see blood pressure cuffs, just pick them up. I mean, no matter what brand they are. If they're cheap enough. Yeah, if they're cheap enough. I'm just going to get there. Hey, let me be. $2 into $26.95. This is, I don't remember where I got it, but a suede leather genuine. Genuine leather made in... Got my glasses today. <laughs> you had them the other day. Yeah, I did. I know. Made in Mexico, Australian Outback hat. Anyways, don't remember what I paid, but um, $30 is what this sold for. Next one is a 100th anniversary uh, Coca-Cola in the little container. Mm -hmm. does still have the Coke in it, but I guess it's pretty rare. Um, we've had this for a while. We can, Neither one of us can really remember who got it or where we got it from. I think it honestly was um, a box lot in the auction from okay. Florida. But it finally ended up selling. It sold once before and then they backed out from buying it. It sold again for $20. This is really cute. Look at the little person sitting on the top of that. Isn't that neat? This is a vintage vanity accessory, silver gold, filigree, rhinestone green gem. What's those last two words say? Sam Fink. It did have a bottom to it, but we don't have that bottom part, and it just opens up, and you would just put it on your bathroom sink, and you would put either, like, cotton balls or combs or something in there. Emerald green stones in the top, but this sold for $18. That's all we have for the week. We appreciate everybody tuning in and watching, and if you would spread the word. Yes, we do. We're still trying to make that push, so if you'd spread the word for us, we'd really appreciate it. Yep. Yeah. I think we're what, right on 750? 780. Oh, well, I think we we're at 7... 7... I don't know. Somewhere, I don't... somewhere in the 700s. But we will see you guys on the next video. Yes. Thank you. Thank you. Bye. Bye. Have a good weekend.